Many modern houses are now built with lots of recessed downlights installed in the ceiling, and if you wanted to replace all of these lights with smart bulbs, then it would cost an absolute fortune. Not to mention that pairing them all is a massive pain in the ass, and all of your hard work will be ruined when a guest comes over, flicks off the light switch at the wall, leaving your smart lights disconnected from the network. There has to be a better way to make your lights smart. And luckily, there is. And that's by using smart light switches like these ones. There are hundreds of different makes and models available on the market, with all kinds of different features, requirements, caveats, which makes it very difficult to know what you need for your smart home. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything I know about smart switches. I'll take you through when they're a good idea to use, and when they're not. I'll explain what neutral wires are, what features to look out for, and how to buy the right one for your house. Let's take a look. Smart light switches do pretty much exactly what you think they do. They are light switches that you can control with your smart home system. Generally, that means you can use an app or your voice to turn on your lights and turn them off. And if the switch supports it, you can also dim and brighten them as well. But unlike smart light bulbs, you can't really change the color or the temperature of the lights that the switch is controlling. That's because they replace your existing light switches, letting you control your dumb light bulbs that you already have. Whilst this makes it a little bit less flexible than using a smart light bulb, it's far cheaper to replace one switch than all of these lights. But before you go around replacing every single light switch that you have with a smart version, you should probably ask yourself where it makes sense to use smart switches and where it makes sense to use smart light bulbs instead. Here are some guidelines that I've been using in my house. As a rule of thumb, I use smart light bulbs for all my accent or mood lighting. These are usually smart LED light strips or smart light bulbs that I put into a lamp. Lamps are really great because they're cheap, they can be easily moved around, and they have toggle switches that you can just leave on and tuck behind a couch or a cupboard. Smart switches are more suited to areas where you already have a large number of existing ceiling lights that are controlled by a single or couple of switches, and for rooms that you don't really need fancy lighting in. These are rooms like laundries, utility rooms, garages, and outdoor lighting as well. A smart switch will let you create automations for these rooms that turn off any lights you've accidentally left on when you leave the house or go to bed, or to turn on outside security lights or garage lights when you come home. Smart switches with dimming capabilities are also great to use in bathrooms. You can use them along with a motion sensor to automatically turn on a really dim light in the bathroom when you get up to go to the toilet in the middle of the night. You can also use a smart switch to automatically turn on and off an extractor fan in the bathroom when the humidity goes above a certain threshold, or to disable it altogether overnight when you might not want to hear the noise. Most of the rooms in my house that I have mood or accent lighting in, I don't really need to turn on the ceiling lights a lot of the time. The lamps and other lights I have in there create a really nice atmosphere without needing the ceiling lights on, so I actually rarely turn them on at all. In these rooms, I wouldn't bother installing smart switches at all. It's just going to be a waste of money. Once you've chosen which lights you want to smartify with a smart switch, you then need to figure out what kind of switch you actually want to buy. And this is where it gets really confusing and overwhelming. If you've done any kind of research, you'll see all kinds of terms like neutral required, two gang, two way switching, and it's very easy to accidentally buy a light switch that either won't work in your house or won't do what you want it to do. The most important thing you'll need to understand is if your existing light switches have a neutral wire or not. Some houses, especially here in the UK, do not have a neutral wire available at the light switch, and certain smart switches need this neutral wire to be able to work. So what does that actually mean? Let's take a look at some diagrams. On the left here, we can see a wiring diagram for a light switch that has both a hot or live wire and a neutral wire going to the switch junction box and then up to the light itself. And on the right here, you can see a wiring diagram that only has a live or load wire going to the switch and then up to the light bulb, but the neutral wire goes from the light bulb directly back to the distribution board and not near the switch at all. If your smart light switch requires a neutral wire, then it will only work if you have a setup like the one here on the left. It won't work if you have no neutral wire available at the switch. This can severely limit which devices you're able to use in your house. Luckily, more and more manufacturers are becoming aware of the need to support a non-neutral wire demographic, and there are more and more compatible switches available these days. It's also worth pointing out that if you do have a neutral wire, you can still use a switch that doesn't need it. You can just join all of the neutral wires together in the back of the switch box using a Waco connector or terminal block. At this point, I need to throw up a massive disclaimer. You should not be playing with live electricity or replacing light switches by yourself unless you are a qualified electrician. 
In some countries it may be perfectly legal for you to do your own electrical wiring, and in other countries it most definitely is not. Electricity is incredibly dangerous, and if you do something wrong you might kill yourself, kill someone else, or burn down your house. Even if it's perfectly legal to do your own electrical wiring in your country, your insurance company may not pay out any claims if they found out you did a botched DIY job. Hire an electrician to help you with this, it's just not worth the risk. They'll be able to easily pull the switch off the wall and check to see if you have a neutral wire or not. If you've only got two wires behind your wall switch like I do, then you probably don't have a neutral wire. You can't just assume that you have a neutral wire if you see a black or blue wire hanging out the back of the switch, it just doesn't work that way. Some smart switches that don't need a neutral wire actually require you to wire in a special capacitor that makes sure that the switch has the power it needs to run the tiny little itty bitty computer that sits inside it. This will take up extra space inside the junction box, so make sure you have enough physical space in there if you buy a switch like this. You now know what type of smart switch wiring your house supports. It's time to figure out what extra features you might want. One of the most useful features is the ability to dim and brighten your lights. This is something I love in certain rooms, but is completely unnecessary in other rooms. I don't need to dim the lights in my utility room, laundry, or garage. There also aren't that many smart switches available on the market that support dimming, so your options may be limited. You'll also need to make sure that the light bulbs that you're using are able to be dimmed, because not all of them can be. And then next up, you'll need to decide if you want two-way switching or not. You've probably already got some two-way switches in your house. Those are the lights that can be turned on by two or more switches. Usually that's a switch at either end of a room, or a switch at both the top and the bottom of a set of stairs. If you want to replicate this double switch functionality, you'll need to find one that supports two-way switching. The alternative is to install a normal one-way switch at one end of the room, and then use a battery-powered smart switch on the other end which controls the first switch remotely. This will probably be cheaper and means running less electrical cabling, but it may not be a problem if you're already replacing an existing two-way switch. Some smart switches also support double or triple tap actions. That means you can press them once to toggle the lights on and off, and you can press them twice or three times to activate certain scenes. An example of this is being able to double tap the switch in your living room, and then having it set all of your smart lamps and TV backlights to a pre-configured brightness level. You'll need to make sure that the smart home ecosystem that you're using supports these kinds of scenes and automations. I use Home Assistant which does this really well, and I previously made a video all about scenes which you can find linked in the description below. Another thing you'll need to take into consideration is how many gang you need your light switches to support. The number of gang is basically the number of switches you have. Here you can see a one gang switch, a two gang switch, and you guessed it, a three gang switch. Each of these switches can be used to turn on and off different lights, but the more gang you have, the more space it will probably take up inside your wall. You can see that there isn't usually much room behind a light switch, especially in older houses. The more lights you connect up, the more wires you need to jam in there. And also don't forget to leave room for a capacitor if you have a neutral wire requiring switch that needs one of those too. It's really important to make sure that whatever smart switch you buy will actually fit into your wall. Lastly, you'll need to decide what type of connection technology you want your light switches to support, as that will again limit the choices that you have available to you. I use Zigbee a lot in my house, so I prefer to have Zigbee based smart switches. Other options you can consider are Z-Wave or Wi-Fi. I normally try and steer away from Wi-Fi based smart switches or lights as I've sometimes found them to be a little bit laggy when I press the button to turn them on, and I don't want extra devices taking up IP addresses and making noise on my wireless network. But if you have a bunch of other Wi-Fi devices in your house and no other Zigbee or Z-Wave devices then Wi-Fi will probably work just fine. There are also light switches like this Lutron Cassetta range which uses its own proprietary wireless network and hub. I use Home Assistant for my smart home, and the smart switches that I'm using were easily paired with my USB Zigbee dongle using Zigbee to MQTT, but they're also supported in ZHA. When you've paired them, they just appear in Home Assistant, just like any other smart light bulb. From there, you can also use them in automations in the same way too. Here's an example that turns on the kitchen smart light switch to a specific level of brightness when motion is detected by a Zigbee motion sensor. And finally, I really suggest that you only buy one of the type of light switch that you want to use and test it out before you commit to buying lots of them. I've personally bought four different types of smart light switches to try them out before I commit to any of them, and I can tell you that they all vary greatly in the look, feel, and build quality. 
Some of them, especially with touch buttons under a glass panel, seem to be really difficult to turn on and off when you're walking past them and quickly trying to turn on the light. Are you using any particular brand of smart light switch in your home? Let us know in the comments below. And whilst you're down there, why not hit the subscribe button? I regularly make smart home videos about automations, sensors, and devices like this one here. By subscribing to the channel, you'll find out when I release a new video, and together we can make your home smarter.